hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how you can control the gpio of luckfox pico mini b rv1103 linux micro development board okay so here on the camera you can see i have luckfox pico mini b rv1103 linux micro development board and i am running build root operating system inside this board okay now we want to control this led status okay turn on or turn off using this uh, board then how we can do that okay so basically we want to check the gpio control in this board so let's see how you can do that so as we already know that we are running the build root operating system so we can get the ssh access using this command okay so i am going to copy this command i'm going to paste that in my terminal and here i will provide the password luckfox okay here you can see we are successfully log into the terminal of luckfox pico mini b now as we know we are running the build root operating system inside this board so python is already installed in this okay here you can see python 3 is already installed now when you flash build root operating system inside this board the periphery library will be pre-installed in this board okay with the build root operating system so just like the previous board you don't have to copy this file to your luckfox pico mini b okay and then after you don't have to install python periphery library in the luckfox pico mini b it is already there with the python okay so you can skip the step for this luckfox pico mini b now let's check the availability of library in our board so you can copy this command and you can paste that here and if you see any error then there is a problem but we don't see any error because this periphery library is already there in our luckfox pico mini b board now here you can see the luckfox pico mini b ab pinout diagram and here you can see the pin number six okay which is pin number 48 okay so i have connected my led on the pin number six okay which is gpio number 48 so we can control this led using that 46 pin number okay so let's open that so here on the right pin okay we will be selecting pin number 46 so here i am going to select 46 instead of 41 so we have defined that on which pin we are going to write our data okay so we'll write either high value or either low value okay then after we are going to set this pin as a output okay as a output mode okay there are two modes either input mode either output mode so whenever you select the input mode you can read the status of that pin okay and if you select the output mode then you can set the output for that pin okay either you can turn on or you can turn it off so we want to control the led so we are going to set the mode as out so i can set the mode as out and i can hit enter now this is the main part okay when you want to make your led true you have to run this command and when you want to make your led off you can run this command okay so let me open these two things parallelly so i'm going to paste this command here write underscore gpio dot write true so we are going to write pin number 46 to true okay and hit enter okay let's check the pin number again sorry pin number 48 i am really sorry so what we have to do is okay we have to copy this right pin 48 and then we have to set the pin to the output mode and then we can try to turn it on okay and here you can see it is turned on okay now i can again paste that command and instead of true i can type false and i can hit enter to turn off the led okay so this is how you can control the gpio of luckfox pico mini b linux micro development board okay and uh, here you can get the pinout diagram on the documentation page so our pin number six okay which is gpio1 c0 underscore d and which is our pin number 48 and which will provide you output of 3.3 voltage okay and uh, using this uh, command set you can control your gpio 
okay so we can again turn on the led okay and again we can turn it off okay so i hope this thing is clear that how you can control the gpio of your luckbox pico mini b linux micro development board and you can use the same command set for your luckbox pico pro max and any other luckbox pico board using this periphery library okay so if you have any question or any doubt then you can always you know ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere also you can comment on this video also you can send me a mail also you can chat with me on linkedin now let's meet in the future videos with more experiment with this Luckbox Pico Mini B board. Till then, take care, goodbye and thank you.